Welcome, folks. We are here to kick off kind of the beginning of the imperialism unit. We're going to be talking about the Berlin Conference, which occurred in 1884 and 1885. Just so you know, uh, that simulation that we did, the Scramble for Africa, well, the Berlin Conference was a scramble for Africa in real life. As always, a goal for you for this screencast. Uh, at the end, you should be able to say, I can explain why the Berlin Conference occurred and what impact it had on Europe and Africa. If you can do this, great. If not, go back, check your textbook, rewatch the screencast, and make sure you can confidently say that. As always, uh, the notes can go in any form that you would like. Uh, Cornell notes, bullet points, concept map, whatever works for you is fine. So what started the division of Africa? Without a huge surprise, there were some expensive resources that were discovered in South Africa, and all of a sudden, the European countries decided that they were interested in having access to those resources. In 1867, South Africa, uh, a, a big diamond mine was found in South Africa, and then in 1886, right after the Berlin Conference, gold was discovered. So these resources gave European countries a real big reason to have interest in Africa. The Berlin Conference was held in Berlin, which is right here. Uh, it's the biggest city in Germany. And what was going on is, given the diamond find and other mineral discoveries in South Africa, there was huge competition between the European nations. And people were concerned that um, as, as the European countries were fighting to gain control over parts of Africa, that war would break out between these European countries. So what happens is 14 countries in Europe sat down and they met to create rules for dividing up Africa so that each part or each country in Europe would have a little piece of Africa that they would be able to control and extract resources from. So any European country would be able, according to the conference, any European country would be able to claim any African country by doing the following. Telling other nations it was theirs and showing that they could control the area that they claimed. There were, however, some issues with this conference. It was based on very racist assumptions, uh, what was called social Darwinism, based on the ideas of Charles Darwin, which you'll talk about in bio, that the white race was superior to the black race and should control all of Africa. It was done for the benefit of Europeans, clearly. Uh, no thought was given to the language groups or the cultural groups in Africa when the lines for the new African countries were drawn up. And finally, no African leaders whatsoever were invited. So if you take a look, and I know this map is a little bit complicated, but essentially what you're looking at is a map of the ethnic groups in Africa. And you can see some of the dotted lines showing country borders and then those more solid lines showing ethnic group borders very clearly these new countries are not following kind of the natural boundaries between the ethnic and linguistic groups in Africa. Finally this was the result of the Berlin Conference. You can see France and Great Britain controlled a very large chunk of Africa um, and then other countries kind of had bits and pieces um, of Africa as well. Finally, the impact of the Berlin Conference. In Europe, uh, tension and competitions between the countries cooled down a little bit. There was no longer this intense drive and kind of level of anxiety between the countries to control more and more of Africa to be able to extract more of those resources. Uh, Africa came to be dominated by Europe. Um, they lost their rights, the ability to, to lead their own people, um, and the, the impacts of imperialism are still being felt today by African countries. So, as we said at the beginning of the screencast, the goal was that you can explain why the Berlin Conference occurred and the impact that it had on Europe and Africa. If you can do that, great. If not, head back and rewatch parts of the screencast. Thanks.